Hi everyone, it's TTL back with yet another preview for you. Yes, it's late. Yes, I filmed all of them on the same night, but that does mean that you have more on the channel. So it's not just this one that you can go and have a look at. There's loads more over on the channel because I've been a busy boy trying to get previews done before I've even started testing. I must need my brain looking at. Like I said, it's too late, but please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think underneath. Go and have a look at the other videos. There's all the other stuff. So board is there. We will talk about that in a minute because I do want to just go through what's inside the box. Talking about the box before we do this. Wow. Did this thing come with a box? Now it is because MSI sent this massive press kit with a cooler in it, the motherboard, a process, there's loads, do you know what I mean? They sent us this big flashy kit. So I do just want to show you the pictures so that you can have a look. But inside the box, you do get a key, which I showed better on the other one because I opened it. You can see that there, look, I opened it. Wah! It's like alien coming out of a stomach. Uh, so it's a key ring with a Phillips and a normal flathead screwdriver. If you buy one of these boards and you use this key ring, please tweet me, tag me on Instagram, do all of the social media stuffs, because I'd like to see your keys, as long as you don't have a Ferrari key ring. And now I know some of you are going to go and buy a Ferrari key ring just to pretend that you've got a Ferrari. Probably not the first bloke that's tried it in a bar, but anyway. So, brush tool. And I reckon that this end of it, people could do makeup with it. That's another thing. Send me a video of your wife doing her makeup with that on Twitter. I will laugh my socks off. I was going to say LMAO. But anyway, uh, SATA cables. There are a few. Four in total SATA cables. Then you've got some uh, an addressable RGB uh, extension there you've got this one which is a normal rgb four pin extension and a splitter it goes out to two you get uh, an extension kind of nice thing for moving your usb2 around the back of the board or wherever you wanted to and then you also get a header for the corsair header that's on the board with an extension which i'll show you in a minute black msi badge kind of like a case badge sort of thing and the reason why it's black rather than the red is the unify is just black there's no lights on it there's no messing around with it it's an rgb haters dream board which is now why i want to get the um pukey um unicorn thing going rah, 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 over the screen someone can do that for me anyway you then get some stickers these are like battery stickers oh look yeah do those battery stickers anyway you get some stickers this back bit's like rubbery feels weird Anyway, then you get, for some strange and random reason, an MSI kind of like bit of microfiber, like a glasses cover, but there's no shiny bits. So that's weird. Anyway, uh, then you get some cable notification-y things if you really needed to know, like if you want to note your fans. I don't know, like strange, but okay. SATA ones, totally get. Anyway, so, uh, oh, and the other thing which I think is great, and it was the same on the carbon, and that is the fact that your drivers are on a USB stick, uh, which is brilliant. We love that. But now, I'm going to put everything away. Oh, come on. Okay. Don't laugh. It's not funny. Take two. <laughs> Anyway, so first things first, look at all those power phases. There, are, there is 18 plus 1 plus 1, which means there is 20 in total, and they are all uh, 105 amps, which is rather nuts. And I know that because they actually bothered to send me some stuff which says 105 amp smart power stage, titanium choke 3, dual CPU power connectors unleash maximum performance and they are two eight pins up here and you can see that there are solid pins on them as well you can also see down here that they are not thin 24 pin they're all solid they're not the little thin ones that have been folded around little bits of metal they are all solid pins so this is a seriously uh, spec'd up board for uh, power now CPU fan headers up here. So you've got CPU fan one, pump fan one, and then sys fan one. 
where is, if that says CPU fan 1, where is CPU fan 2? Because I can't see CPU fan 2. Anyway, so there's your Corsair header that I showed you about before. Not a new thing with MSI, but anyway. Then you've also got here some uh, pickup points for voltage. I will zoom you in a bit so that you can see so that we're on the same page. There you go. Pick up points for voltage. Uh, then we have an addressable RGB here. A couple of more fans here. They're cis fans. Then you've got your USB 3.1 Gen 2. Around here you have 6-pin SATA. 6-pin SATA. 6 SATA. You can tell I've done too many boards tonight. And then two USB 3 externals. Power and reset switch down here. Front panel headers. Then you've also got USB 2 externals. Then you've got a load more fan headers down here. And this one you can see is a water flow sensor, which is all nice for those of you with water cooling. Now if I put the board down here like this, then you can see that there are a lot of places for us to pull things off. There are a lot of screws for uh, NVMEs. And I've taken photos so I can magically show you a photo with it all off so that you can see the amount of them underneath. So it's a very, very well specced board. Then when we're back to my jittery hands, you can have a look around the back, all of the connections around the back. 2.5 gig, 2.5 gig. The fact that there's two did make me wonder why one of them wasn't a 10. Maybe they're going to keep that for the godlike. Then you've also got USB type C here. You can see all the other ones around the outside, which is nice. You've got your BIOS flashback, you've got your BIOS clear. You've actually got a PS2 port for those of you out there still using that. Could be handy for overclockers. And I, when I say that, handy for overclockers, they did make a big point about the inside of the box having world record break on it. So it shows a bit of heritage. Maybe that's why there's no US, uh, sorry, no RGBs. You can also see the dragon up on the top, big embossed, it pokes out. Actually makes it feel kind of nice and kind of quality. Uh, the other bits down here, you can see that you've got brushed aluminium down here. Then you've got this textured kind of printed and then it goes into I will say though that this kind of feels like a bit of a mishmash. It, it doesn't feel like, it, it, I don't know, it just doesn't flow. I'm not sure. I think I would have preferred it all one or all the other. But they've obviously done this thing in the past where you've had two different kind of types. Normally you have a one going one way and then one going the other way. So it's like dual brushed. This just kind of, I don't know, it's not sitting well with me. I think it's this bit. I don't know why they've done that bit. I think it would have just been better if they'd have had like just a plain satin black bit on it. So you had a mixture of textures without that print. I'm being overly pedantic picking. But anyway, round the back, it's got a back plate on it. And I'm just having a scan around to see if we've got any contact points. And we do, look. You see we've got a contact point around here. So this is an active cooling plate around the back as well to help with the electrical components on the back of the board. Now... What I do want to say now is please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll do all of those things. Need to remind you. I also need to remind you that this isn't the only preview I've put live on the channel. This isn't my main review of this board either. You will be able to find it after the main NDA, so you'll be able to go and see all the performance numbers and all of that sort of stuff. This is just a quick look for us that we're allowed to show you on the day, and I still get excited about new tech, so I'm kind of hoping that you're going to be getting excited about new designs, new boards. Seeing what they're putting on them even if you are not even thinking about buying them. But if you've managed to get to the end, you've earned yourself an internet cookie, please comment and tell me about it underneath. All of those get love because I would personally keep an eye on all of the comments and everything myself. <sighs> Deep breaths. Need to go and find some chill time because this has been the tiniest one with another video for you. Out. Ding. Not even sure what that is. What is that? Am I doing Pac-Man or... I don't know. Out. <laughs>